why can't I sell my house myself? I do not need a realtor. That's what I'm hearing again and again when my clients are telling their family and friends, like, go see Priyanka if you want to sell your house. And they are calling this like, save them for themselves. Hi guys, this is Priyanka from Woodland Seeker Realty. Today we are going to talk about, can you or can you not sell your house yourself? All right guys, so question is, can you or can you not sell your house by yourself? Of course you can sell your house yourself. I mean, you own it, right? So whatever decision you're going to make about your house is all yours. So why do you need a realtor? Let me tell you why. So I have a client right now who has, he was working with me now, but before when he contacted me, he told me like, hey, my brother, sold a house with you and he has asked me to give you a call and I don't think I don't need a realtor but I'm just calling you to see if you have any input about it and I was like sure why do you think you don't need a realtor he's like well I already know what my house is going to be sold for wow so as an experienced realtor even I don't know what your house is going to sell for how do you know how much it's going to sell for and he said well I went online so I saw what my neighbor's homes are listed for. Then I went to Zillow and there's a estimate that told me how much it's for. And then I went to a uh, county and it has an appraisal over there that has an appraised value. So I just figured all that out. I said, okay, so how much is the appraised value of your house? It's like, well, it's, uh, it's really low. It's only around 260,000. I was like, okay. And how much is the internet telling you? It's like, oh, the Zillow. The estimate is telling me it's 350000 I said, hmm, all right. How much is your neighbor's house listed for? I said, oh, they are only listed for around 298 I said, so only one neighbor? Yeah, there was another neighbor who sold the house and it was around 295 but their homes are not as nice as mine. I said, oh, okay. How big was the house? I don't know. Like square footage, right? I think it was three bedroom, two bath. No, no, no. What was the square foot? Uh, I don't know. Either one, yeah. How big is your house? Well, it's around, I think, 2198. Where did you get that number? It was an appraisal district. I think most probably it's right. Did you do any additions to the house? No. Have you done any updates? Yeah. How many? How much updates? What have you done? Well, I actually didn't do it. When I bought the house, it was updated. So it's an older house and they have put the tile and granite. When did you buy a house? around 12 years ago. Okay, so updates are obsolete and it's not updated anymore. It was updated when you bought it. So why do you think your house is $350,000? Well, because I have a bigger yard. Is it big enough to justify $50,000 more? Yeah, it's big. I don't know like how much the lot is going, but it's really big. It's not many homes in this area that are big. Why do you have a bigger lot than everybody else? It's a subdivision lot? Yeah. So if every subdivision lot is very similar to each other, why your lot is bigger? Oh, because I'm in cul-de-sac, so I have a bigger lot because, you know, it's little angular, it's not rectangular. Uh, got it, but I don't think your house is worth $50,000 more. Okay. Do you know what kind of updates you're planning to do before putting it in the market? And he says like, no, because I was thinking of, I can go and check out some stuff online do you know if your uh, neighbors have granite? Because you don't want to over, uh, over uh, spend the money updating the house and you also don't want to underspend the money. You need to know what your neighborhood is selling for, what kind of things are in your neighborhood. So if everybody has a granite, you need to have a granite, right? But if nobody has a granite, do you want to put a granite? But over there, we can figure it out. If we put a granite, how much extra money you're going to put in and how much extra can you make? Maybe we can sell your house in first day and it doesn't need to sit on the market because you have a best house on the market that has granite and nobody else has it. Or we put the granite in and suddenly we have over done your updates and now people who are coming in this area and saying like your house is worth say 300, you said your uh, neighbors are around 295, 298. We put your house around 310, 315 and it's like, uh, this is like too high. I want to stay over here because the rest of the homes are selling around under 300. We need to figure that out. 
So how are you going to figure that out? Can you help me? Yes, I can help you, but I'm a real time. This is how I make money. This is how I pay for my wet bills for my dogs. So I can't do this for free. This is what I do for a living. And that's why you need me. So yes, it's your house. You can give it away. You can sell it for 275. You can put it on the market for 350,000. But do you know most of the for sale by owners stay in the market for a long time? Because most of the people who own homes, they overestimate value of their homes because you are emotionally involved in this transaction. You think that your house is the best in the street. And that's where a profession like me comes in. I, I'm not emotionally involved in this transaction. Only involvement that I have is to price it right, put it on the market, sell it so I can get paid. Do you know realtors don't get paid until we actually sell you a house, even if you're a buyer or a seller, until you are sitting on the closing table and you pay or you get a check for selling, then we get paid. So you get all our expertise, our service for free. And that is why you need a realtor because my job is to protect your interest, get you the best value I can for your home so your house doesn't sit on the market for months and months or as a buyer, you don't go into a transaction where you're paying overpaying for something. And realtors, we don't decide the price. Market decides the price. All I do is bring you all the data that I have from other transactions, from other realtors that has happened in your area, not everywhere else, in your area and tell you that your house should be priced at this value in current condition. And then I come and say, but if you do this, this, this update, then your house can be sold approximately for this value. And once you do all that and we put it in the market, it's the people who decide the price, it's the buyers. So right now we have a house, we have seven offers. Why do we have a seven offers in that house? It's a typical country home with a pool. Yes, it's a country home with a pool with 1.6 acres, which is a unique property in the location it is in. There are not many homes that come in the market with that, for that. So that's why it has a multiple offer. And that's where we come in. Those multiple offers have given us opportunity to push that price higher and higher and our seller is getting the top dollar in that area. And that's why guys, you need a realtor and that's why you need me. Priyanka from Woodland Secure Realty, always there for you.